everybody, it's Denera coming at you with the Back Fat Blasting Workout. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Say it one time fast. Anyway, today's focus is on really helping that bat wing area back there and getting a nice, strong, solid back. So I'm just going to demonstrate the exercises that are listed in the blog. The first one is a reverse fly. So you really want to be careful about the weights that you choose here. I put five or eight pound dumbbells. You don't want to go too heavy because it could be really taxing on your shoulders. And you want to make sure that you get the form correct. So I've chosen the eight pound dumbbells to use. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of different stances that you can use. So if you have back issues, you're going to want to get into a split stance. One leg forward, one leg back. Make sure you've got your abs in tight and your back is nice and flat. So if you feel like you're rounded in the shoulders, and if in doubt, get in front of a mirror and do this so you get the proper form. It's really important. So flat back here, abs tight. Get your hands out in front of your knees and you should already feel like your back muscles are engaged. Then you're gonna start this move in your rhomboids. Those muscles right around your shoulder blades, engage them and pull back nice and slow. Get a good squeeze like you've got a tennis ball back there and you're gonna squeeze it as tight as you can. Stay out of momentum. You don't wanna get your arms swinging really fast and hurt your neck or your shoulders. All right, if it's too much for you, go lighter on your weights. It's always better to stay safe and then build up your strength as you go. All right, you can also use a regular stance here. Feet on the same plane, abs tight, hands in front, and then go for glory. Get all your reps in, make sure that you do them right. All right, next exercise is a plank row push-up combo. You can use 10 or 12 pound weights, and again, that's subject to whatever your strengths are, whatever you feel comfortable with. First, you can do this modified. If you've got a total gym, you can level out your glide board and use that, or a step, bench, anything that you can get some elevation on. Put your hands on the, on the board, step back into a plank, make sure your abs are tight, back is flat, so you don't want to sway back here, and you don't want to TP either. Press your belly button up toward your spine, get solid, row, a row and a push up. All right, so make sure you come up in one solid piece, keeping your abs in tight. If you're ready for the challenge, get on the floor and do the same thing. Abs tight, keep your hips and your shoulders squared down towards the floor, and a steady push up. Get those back muscles working. All right, whoo, that was rough. All right, and the third exercise on the program is a pull-up. I gave you instructions in the blog on how to do that. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I would love to hear from you and hear how the challenge is going. Have fun with this. Build up that strength. Blast that back. And here's to your health.